Under these sandstone cliffs, known as Solomon's Pillars, they gathered for a festival. A music festival to celebrate the normalization deal between Israel and the Gulf states, building a cultural bridge between people far from politics. And it's an event that goes beyond Israel's borders, because for the first time, an Israeli festival is being broadcast live on an Abu Dhabi TV channel with transcriptions in English. This is a dream come true for Hemi Sal, the producer of the music festival. It is an event not just for Israel, but for the world. We are spreading the word peace to the whole world. I am very moved. With all that we are going through, this is a festival that warms my heart, and I am sure it is going to be magnificent. And who knows, perhaps tomorrow the dove of peace will come and rest here. You know, music connects people. Here we play music in Arabic and in Hebrew. They are learning from us and we are learning from them. There is a peace agreement with Egypt, Jordan and now some Gulf states and I hope very soon we will see peace with the Palestinians, the Syrians and the Lebanese. During the festival many messages were broadcast. Messages that came from the United Arab Emirates. The Israeli culture minister also addressed the crowd and then a former prime minister took the stage. A leader for whom peace in the Middle East is the very core of his DNA. It all starts with a political decision because it has to break down the barriers. Once the barriers have been broken down, then the different cultures collide and create a much faster peace than economic or other ties can. And this is because the ties are more spontaneous and can lead to a bond between people, people from here and from elsewhere. And therefore, I am very happy about this event and very happy to honor the Emirati people on the occasion of the national holiday. On stage, the Jerusalem Orchestra, featuring guests with different backgrounds, such as Israel's David Broza or Palestinian-American Rahela. Being able to get back on stage was an opportunity conductor Tom Cohen could not miss. The people of the Emirates, when they listen to the concert tonight, they will hear Israeli songs that they never heard before, and within them interviewed our, the, this music of my grandfather, of Abdel Wahab, songs from the Maghreb, songs from the Emirates, Khaliji songs from the Emirates, and all of this blend is something that I feel that I'm not coming closer to their music. I feel that we are celebrating our mutual roots and our mutual house, and I'm thankful. The festival is drawing to a close. Melodies in Hebrew and in Arabic still drift under the black evening sky. The words blending together, colliding to become one language, the language of peace.